Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. And if you dig around deep enough in the halls of Amazon, you might come up with this um, company. It's INGCO. Uh, it is a Chinese tool company right here, made in China, that makes almost everything. It's kind of like the Chinese DeWalt or Chinese Milwaukee. Um, maybe that's redundant. But anyway, I picked these up, these pliers here, in Kathmandu, Nepal, at an INGCO tool store. The entire tool store was filled with nothing but INGCO tools. And I've got video of the inside of that store. I'll show you in just a sec. But I thought, you know, the gentleman who was working the counter there was really helpful. Uh, didn't speak English, but that was okay. We spoke both spoke tool. And I thought, I'll get a pair of linemans. So I think I gave... What did these cost? These were like 450 Na Naples money units, and uh, that comes out to about three bucks, three and a half bucks, something like that. Anyway, silky smooth, very little play, big cutting knives that line up perfect through the rust or the corrosion. Looks like maybe more black oxide that spilled over. Um, this is the model number HCP08208, in case you're wondering. And on the back, look at all these. They got English. These are called the combination pliers, or we've got it here in German and France, French. Um, what's that? A S Spanish? Um, what's Pete? I don't know. Idaho is that, and Virginia is that, and something else and Russian and Italian and Greek and whatever that is. What's TH? I don't know. Anyway, and KR. <laughs> anyway, it's a, obviously multinational. I should have looked those things up. But you can see right here, they've got a global presence. Um, and I have stumbled on them on Amazon, but I really didn't have much of a desire. But actually, they seem like pretty solid tools. And for the price, given that you're selling them in a lot of countries that don't have near the means that the United States do, look at the lineup on that. I mean, that's, that is way more than you would expect on a $4 tool. But they also have tons of electronic tools, battery-powered tools. Let's go ahead and take a uh, tour through the tool store, the INGCO Global Tool Store in Kathmandu, Nepal. So here's the outside of the store, as you can see, with Kathmandu address there. And about every single thing in here is branded with that INGCO. Got some safety equipment. Some larger tools there, lots and lots of hand tools. They've got them in individual packs, subtle differences, multi-packs, all kinds of pliers. That's where I picked up my lineman there. Uh, here's all sorts of hammers, grinding wheels, cutoff wheels, tape measures. And I did see tape measures with inches. Well, actually, a bunch of them had inches. Then getting into some of the corded power tools, battery-powered tools, reciprocating saws, drills larger kind of some innovative tools i saw some interesting things i wish milwaukee made blower there uh, nailers heat guns lots of blowers i don't know either they're not selling or they're in demand I'm not sure and then there's gardening tools here we've got shears small shovels spades saws uh, there's a hatchet down there i didn't notice that earlier probably would have bought that uh, some cement or some mortar spreading tools, trowels, etc. Lots of screwdrivers. I found this interesting. Um, I looked for a 10 millimeter wrench. I thought, well, that'd be a good souvenir to buy there. Guess what? No 10 millimeter wrenches. They had nines and 11s. And I asked, and they were, um, I couldn't tell if they were out or they didn't carry them, which would make no sense. Um, all sorts of adjustable wrenches, different sizes, etc. Kind of a neat tool shop. I mean, just to literally look around, there's a gentleman who was sitting at the back counter. Anyway, this is it. And with that, Doc out.